Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my favorite Netflix TV shows because I love binge watching TV shows on Netflix. It's a problem. It really is. But I have them all written down on my phone, so if I look down at my phone, that is why. So let's just go ahead and get right into them. I will give kind of like a little brief description of them all. Probably. I think. Okay, so um they're all in a random order except for like the first three the first three they're all in a random order except for the first three okay so my all-time favorite favorite all-time favorite tv show is prison break it is fantastic it's so so good it is one of those shows that makes you kind of think about your life and kind of put your life into perspective like I don't know maybe it's just me but I it really changed my outlook on life and stuff like that and it is so good it is about this I don't want to like spoil anything but it is about this brother who is trying to get his brother out of prison you know to break out of prison it is so so good and if you haven't watched it please go watch it it is fantastic and then my second favorite is Friends. I absolutely love it. I actually literally just watched it for the first time this year. Um, like I binge watched it this year and I could not stop. It is so, so good. Um, I don't know why it took me so long to watch it, but it's fantastic and I love it. Also, another thing about Prison Break, they're making another season. Boom. Yeah. So go get on that before it comes out. And then my third favorite TV show, which is like the last one that is in an order, is Grey's Anatomy. I absolutely love Grey's Anatomy. It is fantastic. Another thing that I just started this year, I don't know why it took me so long, but it did. Actually, I know why it took me so long because there's so many seasons and I was like, do I really want to watch 12 seasons? they're on the 12th season now which I just recently got caught up actually yesterday I just got caught up yesterday so yeah I'm live now but it is so good it is another one that kind of makes you think about things a little bit and change your outlook on life and stuff like that like it has kind of made me think about like I don't know just different things um, and it is really really good I um, mean is like a hospital show and about people in the hospital like doctors I'm not doing a very good job of explaining these, but trust me, these shows are fantastic. And then the rest is in a random order. So I will talk about the following first. It is such a good show. Um, one of the stars is Kevin Bacon. He's like one of the main stars and I love Kevin Bacon. Love me some Footloose. Um, but yeah, he is so, so good in that and it is such a good series. I don't know why it didn't go on longer. I think there's only two seasons. But it is fantastic. I love the following. It is kind of like a crime show where I believe he's a detective. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've watched it. But I'm pretty sure he's a detective. And it's like a crime show, pretty much. But it's like better than a crime show. You know? It's really good. I love it. Um, and then the next one is Emily Owens, MD. I'm pretty sure this is still on there. At least I hope so because it was a really, really good series. Blah, blah, blah. It was a really, really good series. If you like Grey's Anatomy, then you will like Emily Owens, MD. It is so good. It's kind of on the same line as that. And it's really, really good. She is a intern, I believe. She may be a resident. She's either an intern or a resident. And it's kind of about her life in the hospital. And it is a really good show. The next one is Revenge. I didn't watch this on Netflix. I watched this like live on the television and like whenever it was like live on TV. And it is, sorry, my tag keeps bugging the crap out of me. And it was such a good series. It follows this girl who is pretty much revenging her father's death. It is very, very good. The next one is 90210. This is probably another one of my all time favorites. Um, it is such a good series. It is fantastic and I highly, highly recommend watching it, especially if you're like in high school or something and you're dealing with like high school drama and stuff. It is very, very good. 
Um, and next one is Criminal Minds. I didn't watch this one on Netflix either. I watched this one live, which I'm not watching the, se the current season. I didn't watch it. Um, but I did really, really love all the other past seasons. It is so good. It is another crime show. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, the next one is Grace and Frankie. This is a Netflix original series. Also, it's raining outside, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. And it is so, so good. It is about these two women who find out that their husbands are gay together, and they're kind of trying to, like, move on from their husbands, and even though that they've been with them for, like, 40-something years. So it is very, very good, and it's hilarious. Another one of my favorites is Dollhouse. It is such a good series. I can't really explain it because I don't want to give anything away, but it is like a sci-fi movie. Or I mean, it is like a sci-fi series, but not like a sci-fi series that like you're thinking. Like you're not like thinking really good and I really like it. Um, so yeah, that's another one that I highly, highly recommend. If you don't watch any of the shows on here, watch The Dollhouse because it's very good. The next one is the originals. I like the series, like what is on Netflix. Um, the, what's it called? The season. I like the seasons that are on Netflix, but I'm not watching the current season. It was kind of boring this season, so I just kind of stopped watching it. Um, but it is really, really good. It's kind of a spinoff of The Vampire Diaries, which is the next one I'm going to talk about. Um, but it has like the originals from The Vampire Diaries. And it's basically a show about them. And it's it's pretty good. I like the seasons that are on Netflix. And then the next one is The Vampire Diaries. It is also like like the originals. Um, I watched all the seasons on Netflix. But the current season was just kind of boring to me. Um, and so I just really didn't like it. But it is also very, very good. And it's about vampires and werewolves. And I think that's it. Just vampires and werewolves. The next one is Supernatural. This is also one of my all-time favorite ones. It is fantastic, and I am still watching the current season. Um, it is just literally all about everything Supernatural, and let's just take a moment to just think about Sam and Dean and all of their hotness. Like, they are fantastic. I mean, they are so cute. I don't think it gets any cuter than that. Like, watch Supernatural just for them. They are so cute. The next one is Bloodline. This was... This is one I, that I liked, but it definitely wasn't one of my favorites, but I did really like it. It was kind of boring at times, but it was really good. It's also a Netflix original series, and I don't really want, I don't really know how to explain it without giving anything away, because I don't want to give anything away. And then the next one I have to talk about is The 100. I absolutely love The 100, and I'm still watching the current season. It is just basically about... Like, it's in the future where these, like, everyone has to go and live up in space due to, like, radiation exposure. And it's just basically way, way in the future. And they have to, they end up sending some prisoners down on Earth. And, yeah, that's, I don't want to give anything away. So that's all I'll, I'll say about that. But it is very, very good. And then the next one I want to talk about which I'm not sure if this is on Netflix still, which I watched it live whenever it was on TV years ago, but I'm pretty sure it's still on Netflix, and that is Desperate Housewives. That is such a good series. It is fantastic. I absolutely adore that show. It was so good. Like, I literally cried. My mom and I cried whenever they ended the show on Netflix. Like, or whenever they ended the show, I was so sad. It was such a good series it was it was so good and then one of the shows that I want to talk about which isn't on Netflix but is really it's one of my favorite TV shows ever and that is Rookie Blue I absolutely love it it is about a group of cops and detectives and they are just fighting crime and it is so good if you have I don't think it's on Hulu either I don't think so but if you ever have a chance to watch Rookie Blue like I know on sometimes um, they will have like the whole entire series on like Ion Television, I believe is what it is. I don't know the channel, like what the, the number, but I think it's Ion Television. They will have like the whole entire series playing back to back sometimes, and it is 
so so good so that is all i have for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any recommended blah, blah, blah. if you have any recommendations for something that i should watch on netflix just leave that down in the comment section because i'm literally always watching like i'm Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I'm literally always wanting something new to watch on Netflix because I, like I said, I love been watching TV shows. I really do. So, yeah, if you guys have any recommendations, then just let me know, please. Um, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.